Oh my. No way. Don't do it. I forgot she could Hama and she almost got me too. That would have sucked. Like, who is this Teddy mod in my channel? I don't know who that is. Banned. <laughs> Somebody's hacking my channel. And, like, where's Yosuke at today? I haven't seen him in a while. What's going on? First mod to get banned. <laughs> oh, she got scared and ran off. Alright. What's going on? The attack on Nahalo by the mantra was just the beginning of creation. Will it be a bright future or will it remain chaotic? Time will tell. You have nothing useful for me. Why you waste my time, yo? burn you. I hate how much physical resistance you have. Alright, so now we have to go to, uh, we're gonna go to, we're going, we are going to go to Yoyogi first. Then we're gonna go to Ikebukuro. Shibuya. Yes. it out of here. There it is. What, what level? I need to be 37 for Dice Old Joel. Man, that's so far away. <laughs> 10. Have you heard of Akiba Strip? You might like it. Is that a game? Or you mean like a place in Akihabara? Because when I lived in Japan for a year, 
I went to Akihabara and I pretty much explored the whole area. Time for you to go. Alright, Fallen Conquer, take care, man. Oh, it is a game. Yeah, I've never heard of it. On PS3 and PS4. Hmm. Um, once I can finally get a PS3, someone's going to have to remind me to get it. Can I go in here yet? The door is still locked. I just—I don't think I can ever do anything here. Construction site is now the home of the fairies. They've locked the door so we can't get in. Yeah, I know. I want to get in there. I should be able to get in there. Why can't the game let me in? Let me in there now. I should be able to kick down the door. Alrighty, we will go to... Yes. Um, okay. So, I can't get around to the back. if I run up north from the uh, hospital. Three wisps, that's interesting. Uh, it was one of the greatest experiences of my life. Oh, I can't get back over there to run through. I have to be on that side. Oh. It's really cool. I mean, it depends on what you're looking for, whether you'll enjoy it or not. If you're looking for a place that's like Anime Land, um, hopefully you have a convention lined up that you're going to go to, otherwise you're going to be disappointed. Um, but if you're going for the actual culture and all that, and look at the different beauties and parks and land and people and all that, I think it's one of the best places you can visit. health. I remember when I, I thought these wins were terrible. It's always funny whenever you go back when you're really strong and you fight the things that you just demolish and you're just like, why was I ever worried? I can't believe that thing almost killed me. Wow, they do have a high spawn rate though. Leave me alone for a moment. An overall interest, and you'll enjoy it. Yeah, definitely learn some language. If you're gonna, I, I, I say this for any country people visit. If you're going to go to a place, learn enough of the language to be able to go around, talk to people, eat the real food there. Don't just be a tourist. Too many people go and be a tourist, and there's so much more they could have experienced. And I feel like it's a waste of money if you just go as a tourist. You'll have fun and you'll see some cool stuff, but you have way more fun, do so much more, learn so much more, and have way better experiences if you go with a little bit more under your belt. That's why I took the second year Japanese in this extensive summer program before I went to Japan. Because, yeah, I had did the first year, but I, I wanted to have more before I went. And it was, I definitely would have had a harder time if I didn't do that. I could have still went and it would have been fine. It's not like it would have kept me out of the program. But, oh man, I would have had such a difficult time. You know, because when you get out there, 
you have to like get your cell phone you got to pay your bills I had to open my bank account on my own so I'm having to like go and speak with people at the bank who know absolutely no English and having to explain things to them even with the Japanese that I had I was still having to look up some kanjis here and there to sign the contract for the bank account like I would have had a really tough time so you know it's it's really good that I did that and it was that summer sucked it was a whole year and nine weeks so but it was definitely worth it definitely worth it the best means of learning Japanese there is no best one way to learn a language um, the best way to learn a language is just to immerse your I mean I say there is no best way then the best way the way that will be most effective for learning again any language is not just Japanese uh, it's just to immerse yourself with it as much as you can play media from it playing music kind of helps um, but it depends on the type of music like with Japanese it's hard because of the way the syllables are broken down even Japanese people have a hard time understanding the lyrics for some songs um, just because they'll carry a hiragana sound from one note to the next or start a word in the middle of it and so you don't know where it splits but like music media news um, just reviewing as much as you can and finding somebody to be able to speak it with uh, is key so definitely just straight up immersing yourself around it, so surrounding it around you as much as you can um, is going to be the thing that helps you out the most. Okay. I should probably go look at the store and buy some more stuff. But definitely like just just watch the news and the language that you're interested in and then if you're still a novice watch a ton of kids shows like you'll feel really dumb because you'll watch a show that's supposed to be for a five-year-old and you'll have no idea what they're talking about but it's actually really good because it's broken down so easy they talk a little bit slower they use simpler vocabulary you'll be able to pick up a lot um, but yeah if you can have somebody you can just like even just send emails back and forth in that language you don't have to like talk with them on Skype every day if you can have a verbal interaction of course that's great but just making sure you use the language or writing a journal in that language something like that how much would it be for 99 of these I don't want to invest in that that's too much I just go with I'll buy another 30 Uh, as far as learning kanji, the only way to really learn kanji is just to write it a bunch and memorize it. That's <laughs> There is no secret trick to kanji. Kanji just sucks, and that's just what it is. Detective Conan? No, I don't mean like simple anime. I mean like actual kids learning shows like in that language, not, not anime. I mean like kid shows that are teaching children how to count or how to spell or how to read or whatever like super duper shows so like for example a really kid a really kiddie Japanese show is uh, in English it's called happy clappy um, in Japanese it's happy crappy so it sounds like you're saying happy crappy um, that one's a really elementary show but like not anime because they talk differently in anime than they do in the real world and so if you try to learn based on watching like anime or something like that or some cartoons that have a lot of slang you're actually going to hinder your learning ability because you're not going to be able to talk with normal people because if you try to talk to them like that they're going to think you're being rude so that doesn't work but if you're watching kids shows don't watch anime like don't, don't be like I watch anime to learn Japanese don't do that you watch, ja you, you watch anime because it's fun and you learn Japanese so you know what they say but don't watch anime to learn Japanese. That's not the way to go. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I got a new 
What's his name? Oh, I have another ticket. Magatama. Please be physical. Impart death skills. No death weak expel. All magic. That sucks. It couldn't hurt. <sighs> it doesn't help. As it really doesn't. Cause again, the language that they use on anime and the stuff that they do in the culture is different from anime. Like, even in Japan, the people who watch anime and all that, you, there's not like big, huge groups that are out there in public. Just be like, hey, I watch anime. Yeah, you can go to Akihabara and other places in big cities, and it's everywhere and on the billboards, and they advertise it. But it's not the way you want to learn a language, and it can hurt you because if you learn the wrong language, you learn the long, wrong lingo and slang and stuff, and you get in the habit of using it, it's hard to break that habit. And then you say things that are rude, or you say things incorrectly, or you don't have the correct grammar. You don't want to watch anime to learn Japanese. It can definitely hurt. Trust me, it can hurt. It may not seem like it, but it can. Hey, Foz. It'd be like learning English by watching Jersey Shore. Exactly. <laughs> you don't want to do that. It's not a good representation. Like, if you want to learn a language, you should be serious in the approach. Watching anime to learn a language is not a serious approach. You're saying going to Japan doesn't guarantee a harem? Uh, unfortunately not, no. Jack, what's up? I only watch Attack on Titan with subs. I wish I knew Japanese, but it's impossible to learn because Japanese afterbirth with few years, they have to learn their own language. It needs you have to be young and memorized. You can learn it. I I learned Japanese in college, so I was already an adult. You can learn it. It just takes a little bit longer. And the same with any language. Um, and some of my Japanese classes, there was like a 60-year-old lady who was learning Japanese. And she did fine. So it's never ever too late. Yeah, it's best when you're a child because your brain is still very pliable. But you can you can totally do it now. I would be scared to meet someone who learned English that way. Jake, I know you said you don't want magic and do what you want, but I was thinking since you're not using your main character's mana, it would be totally worth. Wait, well, hold on. It would be totally worth it to take a level on the Magatama that teaches him Dia. And use it in between the top off, but between battles. Hmm. That's not a bad strat. I didn't even think about that. That would be good, but I don't have the Magatama. Like, me having a heal for myself would be good. But if I have to get the Magatama and then gain two levels to learn it, that would suck. And then I don't think whenever you go to buy a Magatama, it tells you what skills it has. Does it? I don't think it does. I don't remember it telling me. I think it just like gives you the name and it's like, oh, it's a physical or it's a this type. I don't think I saw one that said it was like a healing type. I would have to go back to the Great Underpass to see what it said. Because they had two magic ones, but I didn't even touch them. But having a heal for my character would be good since I don't use my mana just to kind of supplement. I would be fine if that was my only healing spell. And parts healing spells. Okay. I'll try to keep an eye on that. Oh, we're dying. I just noticed that. Why am I not fighting correctly? Okay. Ankh teaches Dia. Was that one in the Great Underpass? She needs mana refill. Uh, which way am I going? This way. It's 
long as you're above level 5, you'll learn it the first time you level up with it. Okay. So then I need to go back to the Great Underpass and grab that then. That would be worth it, I guess. A major replay Nocturne and you're playing on hard mode. You finished it on normal mode 15 years ago. <laughs> it's one of the first five you can get, so... Yeah, I think it's in the Great Underpass was where I saw them. So I'll go back there after this place and grab one. Because I'm pretty close to leveling up and there's no point trying to... Oh, I'm really close to leveling up. Let's go grab it. <laughs> um... Because there's no point trying to level up uh, Marogare right now because it's still showing a question mark for that skill and it's probably going to show it for a long time. So I need to do that. Let's go to the Great Underpass. We'll come back. Stop attacking me. I'm busy. Dude, I, I really want, like, a big bowl of katsudon. I think it's in the Great Underpass. If it's not in the Great Underpass, then it's in Shibuya. But I think it was the Great Underpass. I think it was that one junk seller dude. Yeah, I'm fine with having an healing spell. See, like that kind of thing, I'm totally fine with. Uh, su I'm I'm fine with suggestions like that. That's totally fine. Because that makes sense. Because I'm not a healer in battle. There it is. Magic type. He fool me. Force type. All right. Keep it up and buy more. No. I didn't even buy much. I got like six of those tickets now. Seven. Three more and I get a special prize. I bet you the prize is probably tied to the moon phase too. No explosion weak against death. Just like that one. Okay, so there we go. Gives me one strength, two vitality, and or four vitality and two luck. And you know what's funny? You know what's funny? This Ankh matches the exact build I'm building for my character. It's like strength, vitality, luck. Which is what my character's doing. Ignore the one point magic. But it totally matches. I just weak against death spells, which I guess is okay. You might want a slight but important spoiler on Mar Marogare. No thanks. I'm good. Yeah, going back into these games after a couple of years um, and playing them again on the new game pluses will be interesting because I'll like kind of I'll have forgotten a lot of the game, but I'll have all these super swole personas. Like when I go do new game plus on Persona Three, maybe in the next year or two, probably two years from now, depending, something like that. Being able to just have Sibley right from the start is going to be awesome. <laughs> That's going to be so cool. Uh, okay, now we go back to Ikebukuro. Go ahead and get this level up for Dia. I guess at this point I'll go ahead and just keep it on. Because it's pretty much the same as Marogare anyway. I'm guessing with Marogare it's one of those, you know, 
you get boosted by the heavens. I probably won't keep it on. I'll probably put Madogare back on because I like it. I don't know. I, it's it's really basic. It doesn't do anything for me, but I like it. I know I'm weird. Doesn't make any sense, but I like it. Yes, I will enter the headquarters. I'm not a bad guy. They like me. Story time. Hey, it's Chiaki. Hi, Jaggard. I heard about the trial by combat, and I thought it might be you who was the winner. Getting here was tough to say the least, but I'm glad I made it. Dude, there's something weird about her. Jagger, there's something I want to tell you. I decided to play by the rules of this world. You know what the purpose of this new world is, right? I... I want to try my hand at the creation. You probably think I'm crazy. But I remember that voice. That voice I heard when the world changed. You must have heard it too, Jaggard, since you survived. After we went our separate ways, I started thinking. Not just about what I have to do in this world, but why the world ended up like this. And then I realized that there were too many unnecessary things occupying the previous world. There were lots of things, and lots of people, but nothing new was being made. Time passed and nothing changed. What the world really needed, it was not getting. true that I lost everything. It was the saddest thing imaginable. But I survived the conception. I was chosen. That's what I'm going to believe. And now I have to look forward. I still feel a great sadness in my heart. But if I can swallow it down, endless possibilities await. The power of creation will be mine. Not if I get to it first. She's sitting on an invisible desk. Choose, the voice said to me. The world doesn't need any more worthless things. That's why I want to create my ideal society. A paradise ruled by the strong, the chosen. The world of Yosuga. Jaggard, you fought your way this far. You know what I'm saying, don't you? I don't know what to say. I don't see your point. Or, yeah, I get it. This lady is loco. Well, I gotta think about this for a second. Because now we've been introduced to the name of a second world. Or no, third one. Because I think Gozu Tendo told us the name of one, the world he wanted to make. But I don't remember the name of it. Then, uh... Uh, Hikawa told us the name of his world he wants to make. And now she's told us hers. And I've instantly forgot all of them. I think hers was Yosuga. I can't remember. But it sounds like she's going to end up joining them, like doing something along the mantra because they're all cho chosen and strong. The world of Yosuke? What? So, I mean, I get what she's saying. But it's just like, I have no idea what's going on still. Are these choices. And of course, don't tell me. I like the confusion. But like, are these choices I'm making right now obviously are controlling the outcome of the game? But I don't know to what extent. And it's amazing. Because that means you can play it again and you have no idea what ending you're going to get. But there's one thing that doesn't get quite clear to me. How the heck is this girl surviving everything? I mean, um... Uh, PGD, he's surviving because he just teleports between the stone cylinders and hides. Isamu, he walks places, but he gets smacked around. I don't know how he's getting out, but we saw him get beat up. She's just magically appearing here, there, and everywhere. She's like, yeah, it's tough, but I got here. 
and now she's playing by the rules. So it's like, do you have powers? And I wonder if depending on what we say, if we end up fighting her at some cho at some point, is what she's saying going against what Mr. Kao is saying, even though she wants to see Mr. Kao? Is it going against what Isamu is thinking? Because eventually we're probably going to run into Isamu and he's going to tell us whatever dumb world he wants to make, which I don't care. And I'm probably going to tell him to shut up. But it's interesting. I like the interesting thoughts that start flowing through the brain. Um, yeah, yeah, I get it. Chosen one. We're the chosen one. We're strong. I see it. I'm happy to hear that. Now I don't have to kill you. I knew you'd understand, Jekker. I might ask you to help me out then. Okay. So now there's a third faction. <laughs> I'm going to start collecting Magatsuhi. Oh. She's about to start getting swole. So if you do say I don't see your point or something, she will be like, well, I may have to kill you. Oh man, this is crazy. Honestly, I don't know where to begin. But since Yosuka is the reason of the strong, I'll see what I can do on my own first. I'm glad we had the chance to talk today. We both survived the conception. I'm sure we'll cross paths again. See you later, Jagger. How are you surviving against demons? Tell me your secret. This is so crazy. I'm pretty sure Ms. Takao is going to have her own world she wants to make. Which is probably going to be, you know, I don't know. I have my own. Isamu is probably going to have one. Chiaki is going to have one. Gozu Tenno is going to have one. Hijiji is going to want to make one his own on his own. Hikawa's gonna want to make one, so there's like six not counting me, and I either can probably make my own or join the rest. Interesting. She may seem like fun, but trust me, six months later she'll be beating you with a broom. I don't know if it's anything seems fun, I'm just confused. And Dante would probably show up and be like, yo, I want my own world too, bro. I'll be like, what are you talking about? Ugh, I'm losing power. Yes, you are. Yes. Jeez. I why why don't I just go up to the Golden Tenno and stop wasting time with Nekomatas? They still take a lot of hits to kill. I am so confused. I like it a little bit, I guess. I just don't know. Where do we go? Basement. Ooh. Oh, I went in the wrong. I don't want to keep fighting y'all. Seriously, go away. I'm trying to do something here, ladies. Please. So that's another exit. Oh, that exit leads up to the stairs up to the top, right? And that's where I talked to Gozu Tenno. Or something. They have to go that way. I can't remember. I was just here not that long ago, and I've already forgotten. I don't know. I don't know nothing. What time is it? It's two o'clock already. Holy moly, this night's flying by too fast. I don't like that. Wait, no, this is the exit, right? No, it's not. What? Oh, the great gate. What's going on? I'm losing power. Uh, I'm not risking my life just to protect this dang gate. All right, take care, archaic. Well, then move. Let me in. Okay. Still can't go to the gate yet. What way do I go? I don't want to keep fighting Nekomatos. Honestly, I really don't. I don't care right now.
I am so confused. Okay. Let's just get back to that elevator. Huh? The mantra done for. Yep. Pretty much. Haha, <clears throat> <laughs> seeing as how you're weakened and everything, might as well take the time to just do that. Can I burn your face to death? Sorry I have to keep pulling up the map, seriously, I get so lost, I don't know why. <clears throat> Can we... <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> I really didn't want to see all of that. So now Gozu Tenno is probably going to be mad at me for letting this happen. He's probably going to blame me and then we're going to have to fight him because he's not going to listen to us. And then we'll kill him. Feels like Nekomano is perpetually at 5% health. She is because I haven't healed her. There's no point for me to heal her, I'm not going to use her, and then at level 37 I'm going to fuse her. So there's no point for me to heal her. She's been at 18 health for like the past hour. Man with the crit hits, seriously game. This is some BS. Miss. Yeah. But it's gonna be a while though, because we're only level 31. It's gonna take forever. I mean, maybe I'll hit 37 tomorrow night, but I doubt it. Maybe 35 if I'm lucky. Because it's starting to require a lot of experience. I give up, I give up. This is the only life I've got. I'll give you 210 Maka, so let me go pretty please. Uh, no, sorry, you gotta die. I was begging so hard. I need the experience, man. I need that deal. See, look at that. You gave me 70 experience just for you. One more fight. Then we'll talk to old Gozu. And he's probably going to have a different voice than I gave him the first time because I don't remember the voices I do for people. So every time I do a voice, it's 100% different most of the time. What? Hey there, big boy. I don't have it. 
What a mean man. Cute though. I have to get going now. Uh, <laughs> it's like hot tofu boyfriend. Y'all mentioned something about dating birds or something. So many birds, oh my goodness. Can't handle the bird action. Can't handle it. What was that about? Yeah, I don't know. She cray cray. Yes, I did just say cray cray. No, it's not a habit. All right. Strength. Dear. Now I gotta get rid of something. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of focus because I'm not gonna use focus. Might hasn't done crap for me, but I don't use focus. I know a lot of people are like, oh, no, you're a physical guy. I hate focus. The interrogations, <laughs> the interrogations are good. Fast retreat, I don't care. I want my Magatama back. Maru got it. Yeah. I mean, fast retreat would be very useful. I'll put it on when I'm about to level up if I'm not going to learn another skill. Just to see what it does. You sense a strong power from beyond the door. Will you enter? Mm -hmm. Let's kill him. I hope. Oh, it's this thing again. The little mannequin. There he is. You have returned, mighty demon. Have you not seen it with your own eyes? The stronghold of Nihilo was laid to waste by my army. Then why? Behold! Oh snap, he's cracked. Magatsu, he escapes from my body against my will. And I am not the only one. All the members of Mantra are being drained of their Magatsi. Curse you, Nahilo. What sort of devious trick did they use? Oh, the humiliation. I can see the maiden where the Magatsuhi is drawn to. But alas, we are utterly powerless. Can you tell me where she is? We have no choice but to wait for our doom. Woe to our leader, Gozu Tenno. Ay, 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 ay. No, I will not die. My body may perish, but my spirit will live on. In time, the one worthy of my power will come. It is then that I shall return. So we can bring back. I will not let them create a world of stillness. What good is a world without strength? I will not forget this rage, this fire that burns my flesh and soul. My kingdom shall rise again. G oh. <laughs> I love that his middle finger fell off first. <laughs> it's like a big F you to the world. <laughs> That's funny. And he's crushed. So the world of strength, the world of reason, the world of quiet slash stillness slash peace. And then we'll find out the other worlds later, I guess. What world does old Hercule want? And what world does the little master want? Hold on. Yeah, get back in there. The cl door is closed tight. So at some point we could probably come back and claim old Gozu's Tenno's powers. I knew you would be here. Thor, hi. Gozu Tenno has... No. 
The mantra has been utterly destroyed by Nihilo's attack. The assembly of Nihilo had a higher goal than just ruling Tokyo. We, on the other hand, did nothing more than enforce a reign of terror. That is the reason we lost. And all those that we call comrades have deserted us. You had a friend who was being held prisoner here, did you not? Both of you are free to do whatever you want. I have no business here anymore. Join me, Thor! There is no point in guarding an abandoned city. Farewell. I will go on to realize, on a quest to realize my dream of a world where the strong thrive. If you are truly strong, then we shall meet again. Thor is such a boss in this game. Dim Thaz. Yeah, if he's bleeding out power, just hook me up, homie. I, I don't care about Isamu, though. I wanted you to join me, Thor. Alright, so now we need to go to the Great Gate. Oh, Gatey. I will jump off. Are you sure you want to... You, you sure you want to do that? Yeah. We're no Dante, but we can do it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go save, and then we're going to come back and see if we can get into that great gate now. Y'all still bother me? Y'all do know this place is empty. There is no more leader. You can leave me alone. Do not look back. Oh, I'm looking. He still looks like he's got a lot of power in him. Hey. No. There is nothing to talk about then. You darn too ain't nothing to talk about. Like when he knows how he's now going to get hurt when he jumps down. He's like, oh. oh. Alright. It would save so much time. So much time save. Time saver. Doom, boom, doom, boom. I should really angle my camera down if I'm going to be leaning forward so much. Down. There we go. That's better. That doesn't look like my mouth's all hiding here. Have some quality. Standards. Yes, go in. That would suck if it would be like, the door is tightly shut. I would be kind of saddened. <laughs> there goes my typing. Typing gone. Hey, I can go in now. Nope, they're still there. Seriously? Uh, when do I get to go in there? They should either be dead or gone now. Tendo's gone. What? Am I getting sleepy? I'm always sleepy. I'm never not sleepy. I'm more hungry than sleepy though. Of course now we keep saying sleepy and now I'm starting to feel like I want to yawn some more. I 
to go in the great gate, man. Will you return to Ikebukuro? Yeah. 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 We're still in Ikebukuro, even inside the headquarters. Dude. Okay, so now I gotta think about where I'm going. Let me think for a second. I guess we just go find a new area because Gozu's dead. We can't get into um We cannot get into um the Nihalo back area where those two doors were and it's gonna forever bother me what was in those doors forever but we can't get in there because they're still locked we can't go on Yurakucho station because it's still closed up um, can't get to Yoyogi because the fairies still have the door locked and we can't get in there we gotta find a way to the back entrance there's no map. That's where we came from before. We ran through here, but it didn't really take us anywhere. Why do I keep getting back attacked? I thought sure I had a skill that specifically kept me from getting back attacked. For me to get back attack this so close to each other. Kinda strange. Strange things are happening to me. I watched Ernest Saves Christmas yesterday. Like bits and pieces of it. Have y'all ever seen that movie? I used to like Ernest a lot when I was a kid. Oh hey, I can probably I don't need another Archangel. He sucks. What am I thinking? Leave. I need a map. I need a map. Where am I going? Let's see. Fuchel. Leave me alone. The hated sound of the bell echoes through the area. Alright, that's cool. Like a little repel. Can't get down there. That's hurdy ground. Can't get down there. Looks like there's not much to do there anyway though. where I came from. I actually prefer the Ernest movies. Wow, that didn't last long. I prefer the Ernest movies that had nothing to do with holidays. That demon in Ikebukuro was been there the whole time though. So I don't think I need to talk to him. I mean, I can go back and talk to him. It's not a big deal, but he's always been there. And I talked to him before, and he didn't say anything important. He's just like, "Oh yeah, something, something strong, people. Yeah, we're awesome. Like nothing useful at all." But we can't get anywhere on this side because it's all blocked off and closed up anyway. Ernest scared stupid. I don't remember watching that one. Oh oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna run away anyway, so I hope you're okay with that. Ernest goes to camp is good. Ernest is just funny in general. Man. Eh. 
in the middle one. What do you mean? Wasn't there one where Ernest goes to the army? Probably. And he just Ernest goes to jail. Um, yeah, if you're talking about this dude, I don't think he... He'd never said anything important before. So I don't think he still will. I don't think he will at all. Yeah, I can't believe it. Go to Tenos. Yeah. He's just commenting on him being dead. <sighs> Where do we go? I went to Shibuya. I can't run really anywhere through there. We're here in Ikebukuro. We can't run anywhere around here. So I guess we gotta go back to Ginza. And run out of there. And see if there's anywhere else we can go to? I don't know. This is interesting. Nick's probably... I wonder if she'll have something to say now that he's actually dead. Because before he was just kind of fading. But now he's actually dead. So maybe she'll have something else to say. Nope. You're useless, Nix. You're so pointless. That's why you lost to a bunch of high schoolers in Persona 3. Shots fired. Oh, what am I doing? I can exit that same way. Where does that exit go? Oh, that's the back door for Loki's room. Finally, he crit his. But he still missed one. What an idiot. Jerk. Coral, that's good. Sarasvati's almost leveled up, man. Sweetness. I feel like we need to go to Yoyogi next. I have to figure out how to get there. I can't run through that area. That's Yudakucho, which is still locked. Can't run up here. That doesn't lead anywhere because it's just that empty patch. What's up there? game to play okay can we just like remove my character from the party he is obviously not good enough to be in the ranks with them go to this place positive yeah 
It sure will darn. The team's getting swole a little bit. I mean, these angels are also really weak too. And those winds are like level six. You there. I don't have a life stone. You suck. Bye. Wow. You suck, sir. So wait, that side, we're on that side. We can't even get to the other areas of the world yet. Maybe we need to go up here now. Oops. Toyo suit. There you go, Uzume. Get him. Can we do anything here now? No. We went to the Mantra headquarters, and we talked to Gozu Tenno, and then he died. And then Thor said, bye, I'm leaving, because this place is abandoned. There's no point to stay here. So that leads me to believe there's nothing left to do there. Isamu already left, Gozu's dead, and Thor left. So I don't know what other reason there would be to still stay there. We already talked to Chiaki, and she left too. I can't go to the great gate because those two dudes, even though they're dying, won't leave the gate. Check all the inches there and talk to her. The only thing anyone's saying is that I'm dying because there's no Magatsuhi. The only other thing that would be there to do would be to fight Daisojo if you haven't already. But Thor's already said the place is abandoned. So why would I need to keep running around there? All I'm gonna do is just be fighting monsters all night. For no reason it seems. I mean maybe there's something I missed, but I don't see how. Can't go this way. Maybe you Dakucho unlocked? Where's Hikawa? Or not Hikawa, Hijiji. Where'd he go? Still can't go in the back doors. I wonder when those unlock. They have to unlock at some point, it would seem like. That's probably where the maiden is. Oh man. Yo, can you stop? That was close. That was very close. Yeah, there has to be something at the mantra place I missed, but it just doesn't make sense. 
Thor already said it was locked. What else could I possibly do there? There were no characters introduced. The Maiden's not going to be there because Hikawa wouldn't let her go. He's not going to be there because he did his nightmare thing. He has no need to go. Hijiji would have teleported somewhere else because he's only ever in the rooms with the cylinders. Chiaki already left and Isamu already left. Gozu Tenno died. Thor left. Dante wouldn't be there. He left a long time ago. Seems like you can use some repels. <laughs> I have some. Finally did a stupid rage fit that kind of broke your headset. Thanks to Brain and Isaac. You won't be buying it for your Vita. <laughs> Wait, didn't they fix Bob's brain so it doesn't hurt you anymore when it explodes? Is it still bad? I thought that would have been a fix for it now. We still can't go to Odaiba. Maybe we need to come back here to the Great Underpass and talk to somebody, but... I mean, we never... We, I don't think we ever did find the leader. I don't know. Let me think. Bob's brain was bad whenever it would hurt you too, but I heard, I haven't picked it up since then, but I heard in a, a fix that they changed it to where it doesn't explode and hurt you anymore. So if that's the case, then it would make it really good. Because it's just straight up extra damage at that point. It still hurts you? Oh, um, I thought they fixed that. Well then, yeah, that sucks. I'll never pick it up again. I mean, I guess if you have, uh, what is it, Pyromaniac that protects you from explosions or something? From bomb explosions? I think that protects you from Bob's brain as well, right? You decided to use Ipecac. I don't like Ipecac. I never have. The Pyro Tears, they kind of suck. Unless you get the thing that protects you from explosions. Like, the damage on them is nice. Blowing up the enemies is nice. If you have range, it's good. If you have to be up close because you get the number one or something, that sucks. <laughs> Would there be anything else in Shibuya? I don't think so. It doesn't make any sense, but I must have missed something in the Mantra headquarters. It doesn't make any sense though. Not at all. I'll go look, but I really don't think so. Like the only thing left was I didn't fully explore some of the rooms because I got to the main parts of where I was going. And it'd be really weird for me to have to go back to those weird extra rooms on the side after the all the main action already happened there. That wouldn't make any sense, but who knows? <laughs> it makes my chocolate calm down. I don't think I've ever raged over a game of Isaac. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my strength is only at... Uh, let's see. It's only at like 22. Oh, it's at, it's at 23 for me. And then I get the boost. 
So we still got a ways to go before we hit 40. I'm watching you. Yeah, I know what you mean. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I got no privacy. Ooh. Doesn't make sense, man. Like, maybe the great underpass, if I went there and I talked to them, and I found the leader, maybe he would be grateful that I stopped the mantra attacks and let me know some stuff, but maybe not. Shinjuku Medical Center is just pretty much done. That was just basically first area of the game stuff. Shibuya, I don't think there's anything there. That's just... There has to have been something I missed in Ikebukuro. Doesn't make any sense. I need to go through the Great Gate. But I need to figure out how to get those guys away from the gate. I wish I could just fight him and kill him. Hmm. What is in here? There was nothing in here. This is just an empty room, right? Yeah. Was it no lost? I heard. Because of that, the guards at the Kabukicho prison are running wild. Kabukicho. Oh, I need to get to Kabukicho. How do I get to Kabukicho? I don't remember how I got to Kabukicho. Pretty sure I've seen Kabukicho on here. I mean, I okay. Well, no, I think I only saw it before the conception. So I got to figure out how to get there. But you probably need to go through this deck of Great Gate. What? Last time there's a demon standing before the stairs. Before what stairs? If you're talking about in that room I was just in, he doesn't say anything. Um, if you're talking about before I went there and he was there, he's dead now. Or he ran away. Like, they're all leaving and running away. See, like, this guy who was here, he's gone. Like, they're all gone. I don't know, maybe there's something back here I'm missing. Doesn't make any sense though. Um, he's a demon. He was a human, he got turned into a demon. I don't think these lead anywhere. They don't, man. These are waste of times. I'm not going to enter every single room. There's no point. Most of them are empty. They don't really do much. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I really don't think there's anything here. All of those empty rooms are just going to have like a random spirit or like a item that I don't need. I mean, I guess I can check this area because I don't think I went all the way back on the other side, but I really don't think there's anything here, man. 
because we needed to come back to see Gozu Tenno die. I feel like that was the main reason for coming back. Was just so we can see that he dies. Uh, Mr. Demon, please save Futomimi. I feel like I'm free, but our leader's still locked up. Still being held captive, so wait. So we're having to free a, a, man, a mannequin now. Kabukicho prison. How do we, okay, so we do need to get to Kabukicho. Where is Kabukicho, ladies? Or mannequins? Alright, can I get there? I feel like the way to Kabukicho is through that gate, though. Because we run through the gate and then run like south to get to Kabukicho. Because Kabukicho is. Based on how they split up the uh, Shibuya and all that stuff, Kabukicho is going to be north of that dark area we can't pass. Oh, it's him. Thor said he left! Man, that's whatever. Hey, Jagger, you're back. Mr. Kao isn't with you, is she? Damn, even you couldn't pull through. I was counting on that demonic power of yours. The mantra's finished, Nihilo's gaining ground, and we still have no idea where our teacher is. What the hell are we doing wandering around in this godforsaken world? Guess I have to place my bets on that guy. Dante. I heard a rumor about this incredible mannequin. Oh, Fu Fuko, whatever. They say he can see the future. He actually predicted the fall of the mantra. Maybe he can tell us about Mr. Kao and what we should do from here. The last thing I heard was that he was taken to prison, so he's probably still there. I'm going to head off to Kabukicho and look for him. Can you tell me how to get there? There's no place where I can be safe, so I'll take my chances. Late. Now see... If Thor wouldn't have told me that he already left, I would have came down here to try to get him out. But because Thor was like, yeah, your friend's already gone. You're free to do whatever. I thought that was it. Yeah, it's the outfit they're wearing. We're still not strong enough to open that door yet. So I wonder now if we can go through the Great Gate. Freaking Thor. Let me find you again. I'm going to kill you next time. You're lying to me. Jerk. He said Gozu Tenno was gone and he's like Isamu's gone, you're both free to do what you want or you're both free to do whatever I'm out of here, this place is abandoned everyone's deserted us, I'm not gonna stay in some abandoned place, whatever blah blah blah, I'm gonna go find myself in my world and my ideals of a strong world jazz junk Forget this gatekeeping shit. My partner's already left. I let that human kid go to Kabukicho prison. I just don't care anymore. Hey, damn man. Okay. Yes, let's leave. Finally! The flames of the candelabrum of serenity are flickering wildly. Uh, no, let's save first. Hold on, game. Let me get some save point action in. And then I'll gladly go fight. Are you on your winter break now? Alright, Square. Sleep well if you fall asleep.
right, let's save and let's get a candelabrum. Hopefully it's the one we need to go to the to put on the second pedestal. It's interesting it gave me the candelabrums out of order. Looks like the one that I have is for the tenth floor. It's interesting though because she said we got to get all the candelabrums and so I am assuming there is a cow buff for each candelabrum. Maybe there's not. I don't know. I've been a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been eh. Well, is there an Odin Sphere? Yes. Yes, it was. Yes, yes, I do. My character's starting to get kind of crappy. Like, he's got all these skills, but he doesn't use them. Like, he's not critting anymore <laughs> since I learned Might. Like, it seems like his ability to crit has diminished since I learned Might. And, uh... Yeah. I don't know. I just want to do a skill overhaul with him. Alright, let's get this candelabrum. I wonder who we're gonna fight this time. Hey, you. you don't plan to take that high weight, do you? You should quit while you can. Something terrible has been seen around here lately. A ghost riding on a motorcycle. I don't think he's even licensed. Are we gonna be fighting a hillbiker next? See the next candelabrum user. If you go all the way over there, you'll reach the infamous Kabukicho prison. All the way over there. East Ikebukuro Station. Now what is here? Gokokuchi. Attack from behind. I have a skill that's supposed to mitigate that. And I've been attacked from behind more since I've gotten it. So weird, man. What else is around here? I'll get to you in a minute, Hellbiker. You cool your jets. Cool your biker shorts. Ah, see? The good stuff. Otsuka. Otsuka's a good area. I like Otsuka. I really do. They all do the opposite of what they say they're bugged. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We got a float ball. Okay. One more semester until you can transfer to a university. Nice. Let's go inside East EK Bukuro Station. Never mind, it's closed tight. Air, all these places are closed tight. Names, yes, I know. We're going to go extinguish those flames right now. Nope, don't have time to play with y'all today. Alrighty, you can feel the presence of a terrifying demon. Yes, I'll stay. Yo, Saka to me. What is with the dumb helmet? <laughs> I feel it. 
I feel the power. A candelabrum is nearby. Hey, it's you, isn't it? Hand over the candelabrum. Be a good boy and I'll take you to a world without limits. Okay. Mr. Helmet Man. Alright, let's go. Think you can stop me? Okay. Well, that's good. We've voided. What is this game about? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say because we don't really fully know yet. A quick sum up is the world ended. Me and two friends were spared. Our teacher wanted us saved, or at least us, but she was the maiden for the new world. She worked for a guy who wanted to destroy the world to rebuild it in his own image. We got turned into a demon by an old lady and her young master, and then an opposite group who was a old man and a young lady, who were dressed exactly the same, wanted us to collect all these candelabrums. The old man supposedly is Satan, and then we're going through trying to figure out what's going on. All these factions want to take over the world, and we're just trying to find our teacher to figure out what the heck is going on. So, <laughs> that's, that's the best way I can sum it up really quickly, because even the long summary still says the same thing. Because <laughs> we have no idea what's going on right now. I'm gonna assume fire doesn't work on him. We're gonna use this though. It's a it's an interesting game. It's really tough. It's really good though. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. We have at least I mean people in the chat might know what's going on, but I have no clue. I have none idea. I wonder where he's on how he is. <laughs> hey, a crit hit. Sweet. Uh, seriously, I would like it if I could crit hit. Everybody's crit hitting but me, and I'm the one with the spell to be able to do more crits. What kind of crap is that? Uh-oh. Hey, Mr. Rigi. Um, the only games with a Shin Megami name on them I've played is Persona 3 and Persona 4. This is my first, like, real Shin Megami Tensei game. She misses as much as freaking what's his name does. If it wasn't for her learning the uh, recarm, I wouldn't like her very much. Almost. You're the first to keep up with me, but how or can you handle this? Uh oh. Thank goodness she drains fire. Why can't I get in on a crit action, man? I want a crit too. That's not fair. I'm just gonna get rid of that skill. Oh wait. No, I got rid of focus for the Yeah. Satisfati, you're killing me here. Lady ma'am.
No, I didn't mean to pass. That was an accident. My character is just hot garbage. And she's dead. That was a really bad turn. Really bad turn. Uh, okay, Eligor, I guess it's up to you. Now. <laughs> I'll just smack you in the face. No, computer, you're not allowed to restart to finish some updates. How about you do it in four hours? And I almost hit the restart now button. That would have sucked. I should have just used the Soma. And again, Sarasvati gets none of it because she stays dead. <sighs> Candelabrum of Dignity. Fantastic. Sarasvati, you're like becoming a liability at this point. I transferred it to your computer. <laughs> you're welcome. never going to learn Recarm. <laughs> and even if she learns it, there's not going to be a point to, for her to have it because she's going to die before she can use it on anyone else. Uh, maybe I should just fuse her. I only grabbed her because of it. I don't even think she has a good moveset outside of that. Let's see. So she has Recarm, Seduce, Manzama, Mazama, and Force Boost. I mean, she can do some good boost magic later. But she doesn't learn Mazama until level 33. I'm not going to keep her that long. I'm going to learn Recarm and then I'm going to fuse her. So the next thing can have Recarm. I've decided. Alright, sleep well, damn man. Thank you for coming in. I hope you can relax well now that it's... Uh, break time. In Kabukicho prison, they drain Magatsu Magatsuhi out of the mannequins. It's a huge torture chamber. Oh, really? Ow. <laughs> he laughs when we kill him. 
That's not creepy at all. Yay, stone gaze. Oh yeah, she can she can uh evolve. I forgot about that, but I don't know who she evolves into. Mysterio, thank you for the host, man. How are you doing? Mysterio 30 and welcome. Mysterio viewers. Hope you're all having a wonderful evening. What you got? Just as I was about to run over there. I'm doing okay. Just making my way through this here game. Trying to get to this prison, see what's going on. Two life stones, alright. Oh, come on. Stop it. Leave me alone. I don't want to fight y'all. Busy. Can't go that way. Okay. That's a great game. I am enjoying my playthrough of it very much. It's very trolly, of course. But it's very good. Shoot, I shouldn't have been so greedy. I should have brought a couple of float balls. Yeah, I've got some, but I don't want to use them. A Soma droplet, nice. Ah, we're still fine. <laughs> that spirit's gonna die. I'm all laughing. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now that Gozu Tenno is gone, the prison is just a slum for the ex-members of the Mantra. Oh yeah. Whoops. Yeah, this place is going to be really crazy. Maybe Thor will come back and like try to whip everyone into shape. Alright, Oh, we can't even go that way. Alright. In we go. prison. Awesome. This is Kabukito prison. Huh? This is just a rundown building. You got that wrong. This is a prison. Even though the mantra fell, there's still loads of mannequins being held here. Oh. Not for long though. Yay, terminal. This is where we stop for to now, for to for to now, for tonight. I can't really think of a better spot to stop. It's always good whenever you can stop like right before you start a new area, especially when the save point's right in the beginning. Um, we got a lot of stuff done. We saw like, quite a few cutscenes. We killed a bunch of bosses, fused some new demons. Um, got lost for a while, <laughs> and gained some levels. I think it was a pretty good night. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to stop here. So we'll pick back up tomorrow. T tomorrow is a long cast too. 
Hey, Super Kev. Oh. You did come late. I'm sorry. We did, we did make some good progress. I also lost the ability to talk, too, so, you know. Better to nip that in the bud right now. So, I'm going to stop here. I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you all come back tomorrow as well. Uh, I'll be starting around, you know, my usual try to be early. If you don't know when that is, then you should follow my Twitch. You can hit the new heart button down below. It's not the follow button. It's a heart. That'll follow me. And you can also click the option to get notifications if you want so you know when I go live. Hopefully the notification system has been updated to work a little bit more consistently than before. Um, have faith that it did, that it does. So you can give that a shot. Or you can follow me on my Twitter and my Facebook, which is the better places to follow me because I tweet about random things. You can contact me a little bit easier outside of the cast. And you'll see exactly when I go live with better notifications. Um, you can follow my YouTube. All of my past broadcasts from here go up on there. So there's playlists of all kinds. Um, so yes, there's the playlist of the games I've started recently on the stream, starting from when I finished Persona 3. Uh, but there's also stuff, a little bit of stuff from before there. So you can check that out. But, uh... That's really all I got. Um, I want to thank you all for the support that you showed me. Coming out all the time with the hosts. Finding me on your own. Uh, the people who raid. It's all beautiful. Uh, I, I am working on trying to do this. Because I'm already... I guess I'm not technically full-time anymore. So I would like to be able to go back to doing this full-time. Let me see. I stream every night. So it's like five nights, about three, three hours, maybe four hours. Yeah, that's like 16. Yeah, it's not quite full-time anymore. It used to be full-time. Now I'm like 30 hours a week or so. I would love to be able to do this 40 plus hours a week. Um, if you would like to see me do the same, then I invite you to, uh, you know, help spread my stream around. Tell people who may or may not be interested in what I do. <laughs> Let them get a chance to take a look and see if they will. And we can keep growing together and having more fun. So that is all for me tonight. Thanks for putting so much effort into them. Thank you. I try. You know, I enjoy doing this for y'all. I like to have fun with it. So the least I can do is try to do as great of a cast as I can. So now it is time for me to go. And I am going to host uh, my homie Baki. He is playing Batman Arkham City. So there you go. You can check that out. Uh, I've never played Arkham City. I played Arkham Origins. It was pretty good. So you can check that out. Check him out. Give him a follow. Give him a watch. And if you don't want to watch him when I'm hosting him, you can raid up um, Angelica Rabbit. She is playing Path of Exile. So you can say hello to her or you can open them both in a window in the multi-twitch of your choosing and watch them both. Show them some love and support. Tell them I said hi because I'm going to eat and sleep immediately. And I will be back tomorrow. Thank you all for watching.